Hey YouTube, this is Daniel Vanover, and welcome back for another Technology Tip of the Week. This week we're going to look at the new Google Sites. Now this is not really a new product by Google, this is more of a refreshed product. They have released a new version of Google Sites that allows you to create a website that really isn't so HTML and CSS intense. So if you don't really know a lot about coding, this is the perfect website creator for you. You can still get into your old Google Sites. So if you've already been using Google Sites before and you've created some sites in Google Sites, you can still access those, still be able to edit those. They're still there. This is just more of a beta version. Some of the features have been stripped down from the old Google Sites, and some of those features are not available yet in the new Google Sites. So keep that in mind as you're creating a website in the new Google Sites. But we're going to create a website today called Props. And props is a peer recognition of professional success. It's a great way to motivate faculty and staff members to recognize one another for a job well done and give kudos or thanks. So let's get started and I'm going to show you my screen. We're going to look at the new Google Sites. I'm going to start out in Google Drive. Now you can go to sites.google.com and click on new Google Sites over here on the left. And it will also take you to the site creator. But from Google Drive, I'm able to create a folder that I'd like my website to go into, along with all other documents and forms. Anything else I want to put into that Google site, I can put in that folder. And that way, it's a little bit more organized for me. I like organizing stuff like that, so usually I will go to Google Drive. However, feel free to go to sites.google.com and click on the new Google Sites on the left and it will take you to your site creator. From Google Drive though, I can click on the blue new button, go down to more, and choose Google Sites. And it's going to create a Google Site inside of the folder that I currently have open. So here I have a new Google Site. It's going to ask me to give it a title. It also says Untitled Site up here. It's going to look very similar to anything else that I would create inside of G Suite. So I can give it a title up here. We're going to call this one Props. And we'll say this is also the Props website. So we're going to go ahead and create a website in this tutorial. And this website is going to be for Props, which is a peer recognition of professional success. We do this in a couple of my schools. And this is just a place where colleagues and peers can go to to recognize something great that someone else has done within the school or business or wherever you work. It's a really great team builder, and uh, it's very simple to set up. So we're actually going to be setting one of these up here, and you can kind of get an idea. If you have any questions about it, feel free to email me at some point, um, and I can explain this further. But we'll take a few minutes. We're going to build this site. So we put the title in. I can change the image if I want to, this little grayish image back here. I click on Change Image, and I can either go through the gallery of images that they already have built in, or I can go through any of my albums through my Google Drive. I can search for an image, so if there's something in particular that I want, so if I'm looking for team building, I can find a stock image that deals with team building. So there's an image in the background of props. They've made this very simple, and in fact, it's in some ways extremely simple compared to the old Google Sites. The old Google Sites allowed you to do a lot of things. The new Google Sites has kind of stripped down some of those features. So several of the features that you may be used to in Google Sites, you're not going to have yet in the new Google Sites. Now, several of those features are going to come over as time goes on, as Google starts seeing people use this feature or they're requesting this feature, they will put those features in. If you have a feature you'd like to request, go up here to the More and click on Send Feedback. And the Send Feedback will give you an ability to send Google some recommendation on what you would like to see with Google Sites. So on the right, you'll see the Insert tab. And under the Insert tab, I have the four things I can insert. I can insert a text box. I can insert an image, I can embed a URL, or I can upload something from my computer. I can also insert items from my Google Drive. I can insert an entire Google Drive folder if I want to, and it's going to just embed a folder here. 
I can insert a YouTube video, insert a calendar for my Google Calendar, insert a map, and then I can embed a Google Doc, a Google Slideshow, a Google Sheet, a Google Form, and a chart. Right beside of Insert, you'll see Pages. And this is where you manage the pages. So this is how everything is laid out for your website. If I want to create a new page, I click on the Add Page button. And we're going to call this the Props Wall. And our new page is there. And you'll see up here at the top, there's a navigation that allows you to go back and forward between the pages. And as I add new pages in, they'll show up there. I can also do a hierarchy page. So if I wanted to, I could say new submissions or anything related to the props wall. It's going to create it. It will automatically put it there beside it. But if I wanted to make it a drop down underneath props wall, I just drag it on top of props wall. And now it's a drop down for any new pages that are underneath this main parent page. If I needed to delete that page, three dots allows me to set it as a home page, rename it, remove it, or hide it from navigation. I'm just going to remove this page because I don't want that one. I do want another page, and this is Give Props. So here I have my three pages within my website. I have the home, I have the props wall, and I have Give Props. So with the props wall, I'm going to insert a Google Sheet, and this is going to be the props wall Google Sheet. And now that is a part of the website. That page now has an embedded Google Sheet. If I need to, I can make it a little bit larger. Under Give Props, we're going to embed a Google Form. So we'll click on the Google Form here and insert. We might want to resize this one a bit. Let's make it kind of even on both sides. And for this, I don't want folks to have to scroll through this. So I'm going to stretch this down. And for this header, I want to change the header type. I, I want it to kind of match the props wall header instead of the home page header. So I'm just going to click on header type. I'm going to say title only. Now the header is very similar to the one on the props wall. And the home page is kind of that standout one. On the home page, though, I might want to add a text box to describe what props is. I can also insert any directions that I want. If I want to Tell them to go to the props wall to see any posts, to give props, click on give props. But for now, we'll just leave it as is, and we'll look at themes. At the top right, you'll see the themes tab. So click themes, and you have basically six themes that you can choose from. Within each of those themes, you do have some color options and font styles that you could utilize. So you just choose the type of theme that you want. As we move forward with the new Google Sites, I would imagine Google will add more and more themes and allow you to customize those themes. For now, we have these six themes. You can choose color schemes and font styles. And when you're ready to publish it, you simply click the Publish button. You give it a location, so we want to call this one Props Website. Who can visit the site? Now, if you're at Google Apps for Education, like I am, uh, you'll be given the option of anyone at your domain or anyone on the web. You can also allow this site to appear in search results. We'll say anyone on the web and publish. And now we have a published site. Some of those features that you don't have access to in the new Google Science just yet are the ability to access and edit HTML, to add gadgets and scripts, to set up page level sharing permissions. So if you're sharing this site out, it's either all or nothing. Revision history is not available in Google Sites just yet. Embedding content from Google+, Google Hangouts, and Google Groups is not yet available. And inserting tables is not yet available in Google Sites. Now you could insert a spreadsheet that essentially is a table, uh, but the actual creating a table inside of Google Sites for the new Google Sites is not available just yet. And there are a few other features that you may be familiar with with your old Google Sites that is not available in the new Google Sites. Uh, but just hang tight. Definitely put in some recommendations to Google using the Send Feedback option. And hopefully we'll see several of those awesome features of the old Google Sites coming into the new Google Sites 
with an even greater ease of use and accessibility. And that's the new Google Sites. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And don't forget to subscribe below so you get updated on new videos that I post. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Again, this is Daniel Vanover with your Technology Tip of the Week using the new Google Sites to create a website. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time.